Hey everyone, welcome back to Jashelle Tech TV. So I recently got a pro license through work for a tool called Scribe. And Scribe is an AI tool for easily creating things like step-by-step -step guides, documentation, and things like that. I haven't used it much yet. I've only played around with it a little bit, but I like it so far. So in this video, I'll talk a little bit about this tool with a demo. Once you sign up for this tool and log in, there are several ways that you can use it. In the dashboard when you click new you can capture a scribe three different ways browser desktop or mobile i've only tested browser so far and for this you do need to have the scribe extension installed in google chrome and once the extension is installed from any web page you can start a capture if you choose desktop you will need to download the desktop app and if you choose mobile, you'll need to scan a code to create it. I will create one with browser and this will be a simple example. I will walk through how to create a blank page on wordpress.com. But of course, a scribe can be anything you want. This is just the example I'm choosing for this demo. So I'll go to new and then browser and I can select a tab that I want to record or just start a new tab. So I'll select new tab and Scribe will begin capturing your browser. And you can see the controls here on the bottom left. So again, for this demo, I'm going to walk through how to create a blank page on wordpress.com. And essentially Scribe is going to record the steps that I take to create the documentation for me. So I'll go through the steps needed to capture this Scribe. So I'll go to wordpress.com. And one setting that I like to show is in Scribe's controls where the record button is, there's a smart blur option and you can turn on and off the different toggles, but there's also a choose others button. And if you click that, it'll allow you to blur whatever you need to on the screen, any sensitive information. And once you've completed blurring what you need, you'll just click done and just keep going with your recording. So I'll continue going through the needed steps. And I don't wanna do smart blur for this screen, so I've turned it off for that. So now I've completed this scribe and once completed, just click the record button and then there is a complete capture button. So here's what scribe did. It automatically created a title for my capture. It documented the steps that I took for this and included screenshots. What's great is that I didn't need to create the screenshots myself. Taking a bunch of screenshots can be time consuming. So that's one thing I really like about it. So it's not just recording your screen, it's actually creating a full guide for you. And I can make any small adjustments that I need like editing the title. And editing any of the steps if needed. I can also make adjustments to any of the images. Also, there's an image icon on each image that you can click on. And let's say that I forgot to blur out sensitive information or something like that. There's a redact forever button here at the bottom and you can go in and blur things and there's also an annotate option so you can add arrows or text and things like that and there's also some sidebar options too so there's document actions step actions customization collaboration 
Once I'm ready, then I can share it if I want. There is a share button or you can just click copy link. So I've easily created a nice how-to document for this without too much adjusting needed. But again, this is a very simple example. And over here to the right, people can react to this. Um, people can, oh, that's pretty cool. Clapping. Thumbs up. And people can also leave messages as well for the author. I do think Scribe will definitely help out tremendously with both creating and maintaining documentation in my work. Another cool thing about Scribe is that it can also integrate with Confluence. So if you use Confluence in your work and on your team to manage documentation, then Scribe can help make that process a lot easier and faster. Let me know in the comments if you use any tools to help with creating guides or technical documentation. And if you use Scribe, let me know if you find it useful in your work, whether personally or professionally. That's all for now. Thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video.